Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. So on today's episode, we're gonna be working on a particular issue that has plagued the Xbox for quite some time. The issue is error 12. Now you've no doubt already tried messing with your IDE cable or if you're an unfortunate soul, you have one of these brown cables that maybe you swapped out. If you're one of the lucky few, you have one of the yellow ones. Yeah. Cleaning the ports doesn't help. Replacing the IDE cable didn't help you. And of course, replacing this cable didn't help you. So then what else is there to do? Some people may tell you the hard drive is bad, but no. Uh, if you do a quick search on the internet, everything points to your drive being the culprit. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing under the microscope. We have our drive open, and as you can clearly see, we have the all-seeing eye looking right back at us. I don't think that the laser is the issue with this. Let's go ahead and remove this and take a look at the PCB here. Let's go ahead and disconnect this cable. This one right here. Hold this over, disconnect this cable here. All right, so the internet says that one of these mysterious looking resistors could be the problem. So as for which one of these mysterious resistor banks could be at fault, we're gonna use our multimeter here to figure that out. And I find it's best to check each one, and it looks like there are four resistors in this array. So it's supposed to be 33 ohms, and you just wanna check each one. There'll probably be like a one to 20% tolerance on these, which is fine. Huh, 240, that doesn't seem correct. 81, 96, so this seems strange about this guy. Yeah, that one's good. And this thing definitely has some issues because there's, this may as well be open. And then we're getting some really weird readings on this one that's very high. So yeah, we're gonna wanna replace this one and this one I would say and we'll see if that error 12 goes away. We're using hot air to remove these resistees off of the defective board. We'll set these bad ones to the side. Now at this point you might ask yourself, well why not just put the good board in the drive? Well, the good board probably isn't entirely good. I think there was something else wrong with it. Now we will take our good ones off of this board here. All right, we're removing the good resistors off of this board. Set those to the side. Bring our board that requires the resistors back. We'll add some good old fashioned flux here. I don't believe we'll need to add any solder, so we'll just go ahead and straight up place the resistors back on. And of course, orientation does not matter. You don't want to be on here for too long or else you'll bubble the board. Turn this noisy beast off and cross our fingers that this works. I'll go ahead and get this assembled and we'll see you in a minute or two. All right, I have the console all assembled, so let's go ahead and see what it does here. So we're green so far. The drive sounds like it needs a little work. Hmm, Microsoft logo. Ah, we've booted into the dash. Look at that. Looks like we resolved the issue with the drive. Probably doesn't eject though, yeah. Yeah, this thing needs a little bit more work. All right, well, I just showed you how we resolve error 12 for the Xbox, and it was as simple as replacing a couple of resistor arrays on the DVD drive PCB controller board. We'll see you next time.